are going to see this all game long. Doc Rivers, it's disgusting. He's back in the league. This is a this is not defense. Brooke Lopez is hedging. There's no you push Brogdon out. Giannis is standing and waiting in backside help. This is not defense. This is not NBA basketball. That's not defense. That's a disgrace. Damian Lillard's fronting the post right here. Then you've got to get in backside help. The pass over the top can't get made. If they throw a skip pass to the corner, you can rotate out of this. Brooke Lopez can go to the corner, and Giannis connects out on DeAndre Ayton. But if you allow this pass to get made, now everyone's one pass away, and you're not rotating out of this now. It's not fair to the players. It's not fair to the players. Ice the screen. Keep Ant There's no place for DeAndre Ayton to roll. Nothing but backside help. You're asking Malik Beasley to fight over the top of this screen. So he's going to be off balance because he was fighting over the top of a screen. And now you're giving up an open three. A. Crowder does a nice job jamming the screener right here. Damian Lillard's got to be a way more aggressive. Like, if I'm going under this screen, i got to be quickly getting under this screen so I'm on, this, on the other side the same time as Scoot Henderson. This is very lazily going under the screen. You're not on the other side in time. The importance of this being Damian Lillard's help. This is a disgraceful Doc Rivers thing. A disgrace. That Scoot Henderson, not even a great three-point shooter. And if your feet are set, you'll be fine. Your back's to the baseline. That's where your help's got to be, right there. Stunt, recover. It's very easy. It's rotating the ball. It's the shell drill in a game. It's embarrassing. Lillard's not in help, so now you got everyone's got to collapse at the rim, and now you gotta, you're in scramble mode. I don't know why the Bucs can't switch this first screen. Pat Connaughton and Giannis. Why can't Connaughton take Tumani Kamara? Giannis onto Scoot Henderson. Okay, so you botched that. It'd be a lot easier if Giannis was guarding the ball right here, and now I'm just switching the second screen. But Bobby Portis is switching the second screen. Why are you underneath the screener? I'm up level to the screener, ready to guard. You're not ready to guard. Scoot Henderson's open. It's just pitiful one-on-one -on -one defense. There's four seconds left in the quarter. Giannis is going to come into the paint and ignore his man because he realized Connaughton can't guard. Campaign's coming to the elbow too. So could you get up and guard? You have help. You can get beat a little bit. There's help there. I mean, look at how pitiful this one-on-one -on -one defense is. Pfft. Transition. Could Jay Crowder please stop the ball? Again, you have help. But you got to at some point stop the ball. Like, Chris Middleton's hustling back. Bobby Portis is in help. Lillard's in help. Like, get over and stop the ball. You never stop the ball. Yep, again, not defense. This is a disgrace to fans, to just any human being on the planet. This is a disgrace. It's disrespectful. Doc Rivers is a disaster. Hedge this screen. There's no place for Aiton to roll to. Push Anthony Simons out. Doc Rivers and this garbage... Ball screen defense is giving Anthony Simons an open three. That's a disgrace. That's not NBA. Be there should be an investigation by Congress into how much garbage this is. The same thing. This is a disgrace. Every fan should be angry about this. Every basketball player. Doc Rivers is a disgrace to this country, to this world. Congress needs to open up an investigation into this garbage. This is corruption. Brooke Lopez has got to get up and hedge. I'm pushing Malcolm Brogdon out to half court. Now Malik Beasley can get up and backside help. Giannis can take both Blazers two passes away. Your, your, your ball screen defense is to give Malcolm Brogdon the paint. So now you can't step up and backside help because the, the skip pass to the corner is way too easy to make. And you're still not guarding anything. DeAndre Ayton's wide open on the catch. Matisse Tybel's now wide open in the corner because he's one pass away. And Giannis had to scramble to come help. It's disgusting. Transition defense 101. Something the Bucs clearly don't go over. This is unbelievable. Brooke Lopez is stuck on Anthony Simons. It happens all the time in transition. You just get to bodies. So Damian Lillard's stuck on DeAndre Ayton. That's transition defense. You get cross-matched all the time. You can't just all of a sudden stop guarding who you're guarding in transition. Same thing. The Bucs clearly have no idea what they're doing in transition. Amongst many other things, they have no idea about what they're doing. This coaching staff's a disgrace. Brooke Lopez, you got to get to a body. So I'm coming to Anthony Simons. I'm not walking back to the middle of nowhere. No one's guarding Anthony Simons. You just trotted back to no man's land.
Cameron Payne is backpedaling right here. It's a lot easier if Chris Middleton is the one to just get an help right here because if his feet are set, he can just stunt at the ball and recover, and we're good. But if it's Brooke Lopez helping, first of all, Brooke Lopez should be up the line helping right here because he's going to have to X out. And Chris Middleton's immediately got to be rotating to the corner on that pass, and Brooke Lopez X's out on the wing. You're late on this X out. And I don't know why you needed to X out if Chris Middleton would have just gotten help. Bucks pick and roll defense is to just give Anthony Simons a wide open three. This haunts my dreams at night. This ruins my entire life. It's on my mind every second of every day. This is disgusting. Someone say something. Do something. Brooke Lopez, hedge to get Anthony Simons out. Chris Middleton's waiting in backside help. This is not defense. This is disgusting. This is a, a shame on the country, on the world. It's a disgrace. All right, so the Bucs are going 1-4 flat, isoing Anthony Simons on Jay Crowder. Giannis Antetokounmpo staying and doubling right here. So that's wonderful. But Giannis's job is he's got to come up here and get aggressive. You've got to get this dribble picked up or make Anthony Simons pull his dribble back. There's no set. Damian Lillard's going to rotate down to do op wreath. And if a skip pass goes to the corner, Connaughton goes to the corner, you go to Matisse Teibel. But it's nice that Giannis is in help here, but he doesn't get the dribble picked up, doesn't make Anthony Simons pull his dribble back, and so he's still left open, and Duop Reith's open. Pat Connaughton switching, then get up to Duop Reith, because you're switching, so you're ready to guard the ball. Pat, why are you waiting? You're switching. I need to be up level to Duop Reith. You're switching. Amongst all the other things, the Bucs have no idea about what they're doing. None. A professional basketball team. This is a disgrace. Giannis, it's a down screen. You must show so Jeremy Grant can't curl. You don't do it. So Jeremy Grant curls, forcing a very late switch and a lob. The Bucks players are put in impossible spots to be successful. Impossible. If you ice the screen and keep Malcolm Brogdon to the sideline, now I have backside help for DeAndre Ayton. Nope, we're going to run our idiot drop coverage. So Jay Crowder's trying to fight over the top of a screen. Malcolm Brogdon's going to easily be able to turn the corner as he's fighting uphill. So now Brooke Lopez has to guard the ball. What I mean, what, Bobby Portis can't step up and backside help, or it's a wide open corner three. So you're just letting DeAndre Ayton walk to the paint. Any big man, that's two points. First of all, there's got to be a modicum of one-on-one -on -one defense from Brooke Lopez. Like, you got to get up and guard Tumani Kamara. Now, the other, th the problem with, the, and this is why the Bucs are winning nothing this year, Chris Middleton's backs to the ball. Can never happen. I'm halfway between the ball and the three-point line. So when Kamara, because Brooke Lopez is going to be up, forcing him to the middle of the floor. I'm going to be able to stunt, get the dribble, picked up, and recover. But your backs to the ball. Brooke Lopez is playing five steps off. Look at this. This is unbelievable. Kamara's right in the paint. Brooke Lopez cannot just rely solely on his size. He's got to do a little bit of work here in the post. Like right now, get low and bet. As this ball's getting entered in the post and, and DeAndre Ayton standing straight up, bump him out of here so he's not catching this right on the block. You're doing nothing. So And now I got to get up. Like he's caught this on the block. Like they're can't, look at this. You're giving up space right here as he's catching this on the block. Like get up and battle. Now he's got the ball. And you're going to still take a step back. Nope. Make this so much more difficult because Chris Middleton's back's to the sideline. If his back's to the baseline, he's getting that dribble picked up. I stunt, I recover. So now you're making Brooke Lopez come help, which means Giannis can't guard the wing. He's got to make sure a drop-off pass doesn't happen. So he's going to be lakening out to Tumani Kamara. So that whole thing could have been avoided if Chris Middleton would just ever have his back to the baseline in the gaps. But now you're Malik Beasley. I can't ignore Jeremy Grant. I'm still helping on the ball, but I got to be able to recover. Like you're st stop, like you're stopping in the paint. I can be at the elbow right now, still helping on the ball and have a chance of recovering. So now you're not going to be able to recover. Pump, fake, go two at the end of the clock. This is just enough to make your head explode. Anything from a Doc Rivers coach team knows expected. This guy is a complete nightmare, a disaster. There's 2.3 seconds on the shot clock, and Chris Middleton is literally going to basically go trap Jeremy Grant. Could Damian Lillard please get over forcing Jeremy Grant into that help? There's no time on the shot clock. Look at Chris Middleton coming to help you, and you're, you overplay away from the help. So now he's shooting over you at the end of the clock.
Blazers are going 1-4 flat, ISOing Anthony Simons onto Malik Beasley. Malik Beasley's been tap dancing, moving his feet all over. He's not going to be able to stay in front of the ball. So we're Chris Middleton's coming up to help right here. Giannis is going to rotate to the wing. Brooke Lopez is going to rotate to that to one block. Damian Lillard is going to come down to that block. When Anthony Simons comes into that gap, Chris Middleton's just coming up to help for one second. It's just to get the dribble picked up or force Anthony Simons to pull his dribble back. And then you're immediately rotating back and bumping everybody back to their original positions. You're helping for one second. But there's got to be help here. Malik Beasley's getting beat, and there's none. And it's two points, and you just lost to the wretched Blazers. Doc Rivers.